welcome everybody in cs4306 algorithm analysis in, in section w01 spring 2021 semester so if you log into d2l then you, this is the course home page and this will be our first lecture it will be about 30 minutes uh, okay and so and then in uh, the content page let us go to the content page okay so let us go to the home page again then. so in the home page if you see this is my information about me and then i have already sent some announcements that i discussed in our in my welcome lecture okay and uh, okay i added you in ms team so for online communication okay and i also created a slack channel for online communication also i want to see which one is effective okay so uh if you click here in the content page so then uh you will see our uh, start here in the start here you will see our welcome message and syllabus over here and the book information here that I discussed in our uh, previous lecture and welcome lecture and uh, this is the syllabus and especially again please uh, follow my communication policy okay and this is the book and this please download it it's free book and this is the lecture uh, zero and this, uh, this is under week week one it's lecture slide uh, zero I put it here okay so so as you see I have already uploaded the welcome uh, lecture so if you uh, click over here so then you will see my recorded lecture so i also uploaded my recorded lecture in my youtube channel so i mostly i will do that i will is, mm, upload my recorded lecture in my youtube channel so if you go to youtube.com and then uh, search for c s i t e t expert computer science and information technology education experts then this is my youtube channel and then here Welcome to the CSIT Ed Experts Online Forum. Thank you. And there are some playlists over here. You will see one of the playlists is for you. CS4306 W01 Algorithm Analysis. So if you click here on this uh, playlist, then you will see that already I have uploaded the first uh, lecture. So I said it's lecture zero because that is not actually lecture and just welcome an introduction and policy discussion so please watch this lecture uh, video first and then recorded lecture welcome lecture first then come to this and every time hopefully i will upload my lecture video here and i will link that video in our d12 okay so i want to give you maximum benefit so for instance in order to watch video from here you need to log into d12 but quickly you can go to uh, youtube uh, and then watch uh, the same lecture video over there but i am planning to to conduct some uh, what is that called office hour virtual office hour maybe that maybe in the weekend so or at night time because this course is for online it is an online course i believe some of you will be working at daytime so i s please send me an email about your uh, uh, available time actually i did a i sent you an invitation about on uh, doodle pro i think that did not work and that did not go because my uh, uh, account uh, maybe was expired so i will do that again okay so from this 
by this weekend i will send you another email and by this weekend i will expect your expectation uh, 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 reply i will expect your response and then from next week after the draw withdraw and add withdraw time over uh, we will start our uh, virtual um, office hour okay so let us start our journey and then so we will uh, see we, i will very quickly uh, go through uh, the uh, course syllabus again so please download the course syllabus and as you see the right now syllabus is in, in on here and start here okay in space okay and also schedule is over here so please follow uh, you see the syllabus is the latest version 2 is over here and then if you later you see version 3 or any updated version please follow the latest version okay and follow the course schedules updated course schedule over here okay schedule is over here so same schedule um, mm, i have added at the end of this syllabus okay you can get the schedule from here all the way and to the syllabus so so as i mentioned that in our first lecture so uh, uh welcome lecture so there will be some assignments and quizzes so we will have assignment and quizzes from after after first week because this is the add and drop week so i'm not giving you any assignment and quiz this week so hopefully uh, we'll start from next week okay and the book please download the book uh, from the from the start here okay this is the available book and here in the lecture first lecture so again i am uh, borrowing uh, and using <laughs> dr lee's lecture i li would like to thank her for allowing me to uh, use her lecture slides i'm also planning to create my own lecture slide but uh, hopefully from the after that uh, mm, drop weeks i will upload my own lecture slide okay but that is not problem so the lecture slide will be almost same so please download and save the lecture slides so for the week one so we so in, the, in our introduction and welcome lecture so i said that lecture zero and then i discussed uh, lecture slide zero and it is about the course information and the topic that we'll discuss and the grading policy and penalties so, and the course outline i discussed this okay so this is not my email address so mm, please for the communication use my communication policy okay so send an email only from your case email and at the header line of the email or at the beginning or subject line in the email please please mention your course number okay and please do not send any message or email from d12 okay again if you do not mention your course number i may not reply okay because i have about 400 students so difficult it is difficult to remember name okay so you also please watch lectures from dr lee's lectures i am also leaving those here i'm not deleting so you may uh, listen her lectures and my lectures so that you can uh, know better okay so now let us start our lecture today and then with lecture zero one okay okay so so download you can download lecture slide okay so uh, the lectures uh, let us see our schedule first so according to our schedule so this week in the week one we will discuss we will uh, discuss analysis so you know, we, we went through this like we went to course welcome introduction and course overview and 
is at zero and then we will start analysis and basics of algorithm chapter one and two from the book actually chapter one and two from this book so if you go all the way to the beginning of this book so this is the book we will follow and most of the universities follow this book so chapter one okay mm Uh, so we discuss this this is chapter one and and two okay so it discuss about the role of algorithm in computing and so in order to be a computer scientist or software engineer you must learn uh, some algorithms and how to develop an algorithm and how to develop effective algorithm and how to analyze algorithm then we will discuss insertion sort and then mass sort maybe and uh, so okay so what is an algorithm so as you know so an algorithm uh, so is a step by step uh, instruction some logical instruction to solve something use a computer program right so you know uh, algorithm so if you are familiar with our first year experience program at Kenesa State University so so that you see that uh, we have our CSE 1321 and CSE 1322 these courses especially in CSE 1321 we discuss algorithm we discuss algorithm what is an algorithm and how to develop effective algorithm uh, so actually how to develop basic algorithm so we discuss this okay so the first module so even if i uh, open this slide from here so mm, if needed so you can go through this uh, slide okay so then algorithm is an effective okay uh, is a mm, what is that called let us see the algorithm so is a set of logical steps that accomplish a specific task so it is a or otherwise it is a set of direction or instruction okay so we use algorithm in our daily life so uh, so even knowing or unknowing we use algorithm right in our daily life so what is an al the, the ingredient or component of an algorithm so al an algorithm has component actually uh, main component some data and instructions so data are used as a raw material and then some algorithmic instructions are applied on the data and then we get and our expected output okay so there in in we say algorithm in different perspective different word we use some for instance we say recipe while cooking for cooking algorithm we say recipe so these are the algorithm or uh, these are the input for a, uh, for a uh, recipe how to uh, yeah, how to uh, make a cake so these are the input and these are the instructions okay and at the end we will get a uh, delicious spicy right if we follow this uh, this algorithm right so in our daily life we use algorithm uh, many times so we know that the abstraction uh, is used a lot while developing effective algorithm okay so we discuss uh, mm, algorithm and abstraction in our 1321 course and then uh, so abstraction is a concept okay so it is uh, something vague concept maybe so there are many abstract word or things we use in our daily life right? okay so the abstraction what uh, why do we use use abstraction to avoid something in detail so that we can keep more focus or on something that is more important to us okay so for instance when you ask you to turn off the light you just click on the button on the switch of uh, the light so it is not your concern how the switch system works internally with the light right there the connection electric wiring connection 
so we have heard that Let's similarly when we click on like when we push key uh, insert key in our car or we push on the button start button of your car then it start automatically it is not our concern how the ignition system works right so that allows us to uh, drive smoothly and then attentively okay so uh, so an algorithm uh, in order to be good algorithm that these are the ingredient we know that algorithms so it must be precise unambiguous complete correct simple and it contains some level of abstraction i believe except this uh, you, you understand all of this right so it level it contains some level of abstraction that means okay so uh, sometimes sometimes you can you can say something shortly shortcut okay you don't need to use in details for instance this is an algorithm so is naive algorithm how to do shampoo right it says wait here okay here, here and then say apply a small amount of shampoo then leather rinse and repeat so it's kind of uh, pretty basic algorithm but we can say that this is not a complete algorithm because and it is it is uh, because the reason is that it says repeat and it does not say how many times we have to repeat right so it does not say how to wait here and it does not say how much amount is a small amount right and it does not say how to lay that and how to rinse so we don't need to focus in detail while we write an algorithm right so mm, that is the thing that so an algorithm must be precise and ambiguous complete correct and as simple as possible right so now you know the basics about an algorithm an algorithm an algorithm is depicted in s in multiple ways there are several ways to describe an algorithm it can be in natural language it can be in general we use english as a standard language to describe an algorithm it can be depicted as a flowchart or picture it can be de uh, described as a pseudocode or what in a specific programming language right or it can be audio or voice okay so when we use gps so the gps tells us uh, a direction to go to a direction right so sometimes it gives us voice instruction turn right okay then turn left go straight something okay so that is voice instruction that is an uh, is is the description of an algorithm also okay so then we are familiar with natural language uh, mm, uh, descriptive of algorithm but there is pseudocode format for describing uh, if, uh, algorithm that so that everybody understand this and in we know that in pseudocode writing there are some specific uh, keyword or special word or common word that were used in pseudocode okay and uh, we know that flowchart right it has some symbol specific symbol start symbol and symbol and this error and then uh, this rectangle and this uh, then uh, diamond okay so you are familiar with this i believe so so algorithm is used in computer science a lot okay so there is no way that you can be a computer scientist or graduate uh, with computer science or software engineering degree without taking uh, an algorithm course or without knowing how to develop an algorithm right so now let us back to our slide one right so now you recall what is an algorithm and what is an uh, is, is a good algorithm right so so in this course our goal will be uh, to learn how to write efficient algorithm so we'll discuss about efficiency soon and then in order to discuss efficiency of an algorithm we will analyze the algorithm we will learn how uh, why is an algorithm is called an efficient algorithm or an inefficient inefficient algorithm okay so let us go uh, so you know what is an algorithm uh, you know so so the algorithm and data structures are correlated very correlated okay so this is why the period of this course is data structure right 
So data structure, that means how data are organized <coughs> or arranged in a computer memory. And we know that data structures uh, are in organized in computer memory using variables, linked list, tag, QE, array, hash table, like this, right? Okay. So the better you organize your data in your computer uh, memory or in a program, you the better or efficient algorithm you will be able to develop and then your program will be faster and efficient okay so so I believe some uh, uh, as you took your data structure course so you are familiar with array link list tag kiwi and then trees binary tree or binary BST binary sas tree and hash table or something and also we will discuss some of these if needed okay so an algorithm what does an algorithm do an algorithm manipulate the data in the data structure in various way okay so uh, so if this manipulation is simple and faster then we say that our algorithm is good and efficient algorithm okay uh, for instance a searching for a particular uh, data or value in an array or a link list or stack or kiwi uh, or sorting the data from in, in of an array <coughs> that could be mm, <coughs> an example of algorithm so we will come so soon okay so that means how programs are uh, structured and organized in computer so as we, we know that program will just we can uh, redefine the definition of computer program in the computer program so computer programs so all programs handled with some data so data are organized in the data structure maybe normal variable with normal variable and some areas link with stack kiwi or hash table and we write algorithm then algorithm are used to to manipulate this data Okay. For example, so for instance, a simple search program here. Okay. For instance, if we want to search the minimum number from this, this uh, like an array, like this is symbol of an array, right? So this score array from we want to search a uh, the minimum number, the lowest number. Okay or the maximum number whatever say for instance we, we can hear the minimum number so we know the searching basic searching algorithm is the linear search algorithm how does it work that we make it a temporary variable okay and uh, we put the first variable the first value so it's in array in this with index zero as our temporary uh, expected result expected minimum or max value then we loop through the array starting from the next element so next element has index one right so start from i equal to one to n n will be uh, <coughs> the last one last last okay so actually it should go in it's a less than not if you say less equal to then we have said less n minus one so then if we find our next element is greater than uh, my temp so then uh, okay sorry this it is we are discussing maximum search element first okay so then and then we will see if the score second this element second element with index one is greater than the element as temporary that is index zero then we swap right then then we sorry we assign the temp as the second element so by this way at the end of a loop we will get we will get uh, our expected or maximum value so this is a pretty linear search algorithm right so in the linear search algorithm we know what do we do we go we start from the uh, the first element of the array and as pick the first element and assume that that is our expected value and then from the second element we we loop through at the end 
so this is uh, its complexity is big o n we will know that and so on and this is an efficient algorithm we can say okay but there may be uh, many versions of this algorithm that may not be efficient okay for instance instead of following this this linear search that we are checking all of the elements from by one by one think about an algorithm if someone pick any element randomly okay and compare that element with the first element if it is say if it is greater than the first element then he can say this is the first this is the mm, this is the mm, maximum element okay and if he does not loop through uh, through the array then what may happen it may create an issue right for instance the issue may be uh, if uh, someone picks randomly the other elements it may happen that he will pick the same element again and again and again or he may skip some elements right he may skip some elements so that it may not give uh, the maximum element or the in the worst case that it may need to need many pick and many looping many times okay then the actual size in times that it needs here okay so that may algorithm may not be effective so what but we ensure that we s go through all of the elements only one time and then we get the expected element okay so the, the this is the linear search algorithm and we know the complexity of linear search algorithm is big o n that means we need to go only the number of times the uh, the number of elements it has uh, maximum that many times but there are other algorithms okay that for instance uh, the other algorithm binary for instance the binary search algorithm that will take less amount of time to find the max or mean element okay and but there is a restriction that we permit that if the data is already pre-sorted then we can use binary search, search algorithm otherwise we cannot use this right we will, we will discuss it don't worry if you forget them we will discuss this okay so what is an algorithm again an algorithm is a well-defined computational process at least okay that has some input and the, in, the instruction are applied on the input value and at the end we get some expected output right so so an algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a problem right so it is a logical step by step okay so you see that this is an example of looping algorithm for instance if there is a simple statement or some statement over here so here how do we we find uh, uh, how do we analyze an algorithm and how do we uh, find its complexity so here in shortcut i will discuss in detail but in shortcut you will see that there are two for loops right so one for loop and in this is inner for loop and there is outer for loop so so mm, like for instance if the total time of this algorithm is considered as a function of n what is n is the input size t is the time okay the total time is considered as a function of n okay tn we know that function and then for instance there are two loops over here one is inner loop and outer loop so there will be n squared okay if there are three loops then it will be n cubed so n squared and for instance it has five simple statements so there is five is copy same five times n so you see there is over here is only one loop so it is only n okay and then for instance we may think that there are some same simple uh, 25 statements over here without any looping so these are straightforward 25 okay so if in order to execute each of these simple statement if the computer name 
need one unit of time a unit will be millisecond or microsecond maybe okay so then how many you how many unit times we need so if the 25 units in order to execute 25 units we need 25 units time right in order to execute 25 statements we need 25 unit time right and for these there are five statements here so we need for each statement takes n and then n times 5 so that right, for instance it is looping through n right so we don't know what is the n value n value can be 5 it can be 10 20 100 thousand or it can be million okay so whatever the n value so see inside there are five statements so five times n and sim similarly whatever the n value so there is looping over here in a loop and we need n squared so ultimately so what is the largest value over here consider that for in case we will consider big large number large n okay positive n and large n so th this is obvious that n or n squared will be dominant term over here right so in order uh, in case of very large number so this five will be very nominal and then also 25 will be very nominal and then 5n will be nominal also so here the dominating term is n squared right for large n so we denote the complexity of this algorithm as big o n squared we will discuss in our next lecture why we say big o n squared okay so this is a way how do we analyze algorithm okay so we will discuss this we will learn this in our uh, this course throughout this course okay so there are two things considerable things in order to analyze an algorithm okay so think about what do we need what does an algorithm uh, how uh, works okay so in a, a computer program right an algorithm is written in order to solve a computer program so computer programs are written as an instructions right and the data are put in as instructions so we need computer memory so we need to consider how much memory it is taking in a computer and how the mm, data are organized or mm, being used uh, in in the uh, in algorithm right so as we know that these are the input for instance if this is an array for instance these are the array element and if we want to sort it okay so for instance in ascending order for a select this is the array okay in uh, initial array and then for info uh, it is unsorted and if we want to sort in ascending order that means we want to see at the end in the output we want to see the smallest value first then the next greater value and the greatest value will be at the end right so this is a sorting process for a small number or a few numbers do we can do this sorting manually okay but think about very large number very large number uh, data okay like thousand hundred th several hundred thousands or million data so it is not easy to manually solve sort this okay so it's difficult okay so we use sorting algorithm to do this okay so but our algorithm will use two things right computer memory and some instructions right so although it will use computer memory so in order to analyze our algorithm we are not concerned about computer memory how much memory it is taking so we know that linear in this data structure it is taking very simple one element at a time so so in our modern computers we have a lot of memory okay the uh, memory means the ram and then the access memory and then when we save it it is saved in hard drive or uh, secondary memory right so we are concerned about primary memory ram and rom so still we have a large ram size right so memory size in our computer so we are not we are not concerned about the <coughs> memory size what we will be concerned about we will be concerned about the how much time our algorithm is taking so in order to cons do that so we know that an algorithm uh, in, in, in on a program data are saved uh, as a variable right so 
we'll see uh, the we say that a problem uh, for instance in in a problem so if s is, is a set or is a list okay so these are the data right so in order to put this data how many variables we need actually uh, mm, uh, to assign this these values right so as we know that in array we use index so at least we need one variable with different index right so that variable is called is called mm, parameter so uh, parameterize in parameterize uh, data structure like an array so we can say this is a list and list this list contains a number of data in maybe other way and its size and then what we do we can say here there are two parameters in this algorithm is that is a an array and n that is number of number of mm, the items in the array and then whenever we say we we have s and n so then each of this value we can index right we can assign this by index s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 last, uh, last one is there has the index n minus one s n minus one so so we know that now we know the parameters so here okay so now we understand what is the parameters are the variable or called an instance of the problem so and we know whenever we have some input and instance of parameter then we have some solution right so here how many parameters we do have two s is the array and n is the size okay the solution that the sorting sorted value at the end we will get this right so for instance another example so here if we want to do a source if you want to do search a target value from an array of n numbers so then how many parameters we need here we need three parameters right s is an array and the number n is the size of the elements of this array six over here and we need a target variable we can say target or x or y or z whatever you say so here there will be three parameters in this algorithm so we need to know how in order to find an efficient algorithm we need to consider actually which parameter so you see the x is this is only one value right this is nominal only one value so but it's a small uh, length is only one so that means but n can be that n is the large number of the number of the array right so so we will search this this element in our array so if think that if the array size is very large so then what will happen we have to go through each of this all of these elements one by one right so then that means we the cons the complexity or time of source of this algorithm will depend on the value of n not on the value of x right no matter what is the value of x that means whatever we are searching whether we search thir 13 or 5 or 11 or 8 it will take same time okay so that complexity or time will depend on the value of n if n is a larger value then it will take long time more time right if n is a smaller value then it will take small time less time right so that it does not depend the complexity or uh, running time of this algorithm does not depend on the value how large or small the, the target value search value is it, okay it depends on how large or small the array size is okay okay so you need to understand that now i think you should understand that the complexity will depend on the n value of n okay not the value of x this doesn't matter x is 5 or 13 or 8 okay so in order to write efficient algorithm so we need to think about how to uh, write an algorithm based on the size of n for instance in our searching algorithm
right so in our next lecture we will learn how to write efficient algorithm and uh, so there are many as uh, uh, Mm, we, there are several ways to uh, evaluate the efficiency of an algorithm then we will discuss some okay so there are some these are the actually notation actually theta notation or you see the big o notation and for instance we say the complexity of insertion sort is big o n squared but mass sort is in login we will go through this okay so i think in our next lecture we will discuss uh, how to analyze algorithm we will start from two common uh, sorting algorithm insertion sort and mass sort algorithm so meanwhile uh, mm, i think you are familiar with insertion sort algorithm and in our next lecture actually i want to discuss how the insertion sort algorithm works and how do we find the complexity of insertion sort algorithm okay so so this slide depicts the remaining slide depicts how the insertion sort algorithm works and uh, i think mm, then we will discuss in our next lecture and also we will discuss how to calculate our running time in the worst case average case and best case so we will discuss uh, we will discuss asymptotic analysis of algorithm so I think that's uh, all for now and uh, in, our, in my next lecture I will uh, discuss about about uh, lectures uh, slide 2 lecture slide 2 so okay again i will upload my lecture videos on in my youtube channel c s e i t a experts and here and also i will put a link here okay and i'm keeping also dr lee's le uh, lecture so you can parallelly watch either or all of this so that you can learn something new and better way by watching our both of our lectures okay Thank you so much and I will see you again. Bye bye.